What's up everyone, it's Rowan from Radical Electric Bikes here. Finally I've got this video put together for you guys. There's so much footage that I compiled from the BC Bike Show 2020 that I almost couldn't fit it all into one video. I'm not sure if it's going to be a problem uploading something so long to YouTube, but this video is about 45 minutes long. I have provided timestamps in the video in the description so you can have easier navigation throughout the video to get to the parts that you'd like to see. So without further ado, let's dive into the PC Bike Show. Oh, enjoy. Cool. Thank you. Have a good day. As you can see, this was a very busy show. With only so much time in the day, I made sure that I checked out Rad Power Bikes first since I am very aware of their build quality and known reliability. Oh, it's John. All right, can you tell me a little bit more about Rad Power Bikes and um, what you guys are featuring here today? Okay, so we have, yeah. uh, we have a lineup of class two electric bikes. So one of them are limited to 500 watts and 32 kilometers an hour. Uh, it means, for all intents and purposes, they're a bicycle and you can ride them in bike lanes um, and anywhere a bicycle would go. Uh, the batteries are 48 volt, 14 amp power. Uh, we have a partnership with Kenda, so all of our tires have uh, puncture resistant lining and uh, okay. electric fits on the sides. Nice, I can uh, see, yes. We have yep. a range of uh, cargo bikes, back tire bikes, uh, urban commuter city bikes, folding bikes. Uh huh. Very cool. Um, yeah. Right Do anything. Go anywhere. Excellent. Kind of affordable bikes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what I love about electric bikes, and it's just so cool to see ones that um, offer a passenger as well. You can see the yeah, second person definitely. on this one, right? Yeah. The, uh, the the Rad Runner, which we launched uh, last year. Okay. Excellent. Yeah, like it's so comfortable looking. Like, um, what battery does it use in motor? So, 14 amp power uh, with uh, Samsung cells, and it has a refined geared hub on the back. Geared hub, yeah, rear hub. That's awesome. Yeah, they're so small too. Like, you can roll this into pretty much like a house too. Like, yep. if people are Precisely. afraid of like walking house, up outside. Apartment complex. Yeah, they're uh, yeah, they're, they're kind of small. They're, they're nice for uh, yeah, urban urban riding. Very cool. Yeah. Now, this is one of the newer models. Do you have like a best seller that you'd also like our to show me? Our best seller, our original, what kind of founded the company is the uh, the Rad Rover, the flat tire bike. Oh, the Rover. There. Sure. Let's have a look at the Rover then. Yeah, that's a nice slick looking one. So this is what started the company or something Pretty much, like that? yeah. Oh, wow. Very nice. And this is also a 48 volt, you were saying? Yep, correct. Oh, all, okay. all of our batteries are universal across the entire range. Oh, nice. So that makes it so interchangeable. So exactly. yeah, there's no like awkwardness trying to just throw things around like Lego or anything. Exactly. Exactly, like that. Exactly. So yes. cool. Right on. So it's nice to see what gets the company started. Like I love startup stories and stuff. Oh, I nice. love to just get that in Good there. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. We, uh, yeah, I think we, we started about three years ago and uh, it's been kind of been a rocket ship since then. We, uh, yeah, we're hiring new people all the time. Um, yeah, we're just, we're just kind of taking off in the minute. I think we're, uh, we're number one seller for e-bikes in, uh, in America at the minute. So um, yeah, our reviews speak for themselves and our, our products are clearly good. That's why they're selling. So. Congratulations, Tom. Thank yeah, I would much. love to review one of your bikes or more of them someday soon because yeah, yeah, um, I know sure. that you have a location here in Vancouver. Yes. Um, haven't had the chance to stop by myself yet. Okay. But yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. Rupert and uh, East 29th Street. And then we have, uh, yeah, we have our entire range of bikes out to, uh, to demo and Ride and stuff, so. Excellent. Cool. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for
for your no time, Tom. Tom. I appreciate yes, it. Cheers. cheers. All right, thank you. After my awesome conversation with Tom, I decided to take the Rad Runner out for a spin. This is on the front page of their website, and I can see why. This is an amazing bike for carrying up to two people, groceries, kids, or anything else that you need to haul around throughout the city. With gas prices and insurance and everything just costing so much these days, electric bikes for not just families, but people commuting and even, I can call it, bike pooling now, can get to work and park wherever they like. There's no reason to feel like, oh, you can't find where you need to park. You can bring this inside, and if you even can't, you can take the battery out and lock it with you inside the locker, in the workplace, or wherever you need to keep it stored safely. Going from the low to high levels gives you a noticeable difference in power. As you're pedaling on the lower levels, it gives you just enough to keep you going up a hill if it's something that you would find yourself struggling with. If you're a new rider, or just someone that isn't used to an electric bike, since they are sometimes a little bit heavier. I know with the camera being a little bit shaky and my settings not being perfectly adjusted, it's kind of hard to see exactly how fast you're going since you can't see the speedometer or the display. But I can assure you, this Rad Runner was very powerful and for throwing two people onto this, you could expect no problems. Probably my favorite feature on the Rad Runner is its throttle. If you've got two people on your bike and you're just finding pedaling a bit too hard, you can just use that throttle to get you all the way around. But just keep that in mind, is that your range will be reduced because of the extra weight and, well, no assistance going to the motor and it working all on its own. So that's just something to keep in mind. Next up, we have Bike Tricks from Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Hi there, so could you tell me a little bit more about Bike Tricks and what you guys are all about? Yeah, so Bike Tricks uh, is my electric bike company. We're out of Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Uh, we were started in 2014. And uh, we kicked off our company with a mid-drive uh, fat tire bike, which at the time in 2014, we were one of the few ones that had it. Nice. Uh, and uh, yeah, and everything's the uh, rest of history. So now we're here, we got over 10 different models of bikes to sell. Nice. And uh, we designed them, assembled them, and shipped them right from Saskatoon. And if you go on our website and you're chatting online, there's somebody answering the chat right from Saskatoon. That's so cool, yeah, because I love local bike you know, manufacturers. Yeah, it's relatively local, I guess, yeah. Yeah, yeah, almost. I mean, like, so many bike companies now, there's so many going on. Uh, of course. Here. Yeah. yeah, like, something that's in Vancouver, a lot of uh, other companies are here from, like, you know, some of the states, some are yeah. from Taiwan, all over the place. Yeah, world, the cool so. thing for us is yeah, that yeah. Uh, because we designed the frames in Saskatoon and then assembled them there, we're okay. able to customize the bikes quite a bit. So if you go to our uh, website, you'll see there's different options for wheels, different options for the battery, for the the handlebars, like lots of different choices, and we think that uh, that's a way of the future. You know, we can customize bikes for customers where we're not spending money on distribution, rather, we're using that to give back to the customer to give them a better deal for their money, kind of thing. That's an excellent experience. You know, you have all that modularity, and also like parts are so interchangeable that way, so that's exactly. something that yeah. you have to like really go fighting for to find, right? Yeah, for sure. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. It's so cool that you guys are right here. And you said um, your original the bike that got you started was the this yeah, one. that's the Juggernaut. Uh, we, this is like the ninth generation of the bike, uh, so you can see we've done a lot of work to it, where the motor is now integrated into the frame. It still uses a BBSO2 motor, which is a 750 watt motor. Uh, it gets toned down to 500 watts for Canadian use, uh, and uh, yeah, it's got lots of torque, 120 newton meters of torque, uh, really well spec. The cool thing with this bike is that the biggest battery it supports is a thousand, is over a thousand watt hour. And we can do that with just one battery, whereas a lot of other manufacturers try to do dual batteries and still under 1,000 watt hour or just over 1,000, we can do that with just one battery. So it's, uh, yeah, we were trying to offer the best spec uh, for the money, kind of, uh, 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 that's where we stand in the market. I love that, that's yeah. so cool. Yeah, would you mind if I took the Juggernaut out for a test ride? Oh, no problem. Yeah, just hop on there, blow you away. How does the battery come out? You just uh, put it into it's, the it's locked into the deadbolt, so you just twist the key out and then the battery just slides right out.
Here we have the Super 73, which we will give a test ride after we have our interview with Vintage Iron and North 49 brands. Vintage Iron has been around for quite a few years now. Uh, North 49 just bought the company within the last year. Um, we've, uh, as you see, got a big line of these vintage style bikes, kind of timeless classic pieces. Um, these guys here, these are the Rabel. Uh, they have a 1,000 watt motor on the back end, um, capable of upwards of 50 kilometers an hour, uh, but it can be connected through Bluetooth to be able to tweak those settings to get more eco-friendly. So, well, so uh, 100% controllable, that's so cool. And I noticed how long the chain is. Does that have any effect on the hub motor in the back there? So this is kind of designed to be more throttle driven uh, okay. instead of pedal assist. The pedals yeah. are on it just to make it road legal. Um, so right. you don't have to worry about uh, license registration and insurance. Excellent. Yeah. Yes, because they don't look too much different. Like I can live with that. They look so nice. It's kind of hard to, I mean, how can you complain about this? Exactly. These They're mean looking machines for sure. These are like 30s model style of cafe racer types kind yeah. of things, right? Yeah. So this yeah. guy here, the vintage electric, this is a tracker. Um, this guy here has a 3000 watt motor on the back, uh, which is quite powerful. Um, wow. Has two different modes either street legal mode or race mode. Street legal mode being limited to 35 kilometers an hour, and then race mode having the full 3,000 watt capabilities of the motor there, and you're gonna be able to get upwards of 65, 70 kilometers an hour in the right conditions. Now that is literally just about as fast as I would want to go on one of these things anyway. It's, so uh, it's that, essentially a, a motorcycle, great. yeah. That's very cool. No, I love how they're just, well, you guys can make them compatible so that they're road uh, legal. Um, so you don't sure. have to worry about as long as they're a responsible rider. Of and course. you guys promote that, of course. I mean, these have quite a reputation. I've seen them around at least since the last five years I saw them like this. Um, I think you've been making this for quite a long time. Yeah, the Vintage yeah, Electric yeah. line's been around for quite a few years at this point, yeah. yeah, yeah. They're, they're out of California and we bring them up here to uh, where the exclusive dealers here in Canada. Excellent. Wow. Uh, yeah, and you have a location that was on Clark and... Um, That's correct. Game. We're located at 2212 Clark Drive here in Vancouver, just across from there, East Van side in Vancouver. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. And last but not least, we had to just get to this beautiful one here. I mean, this sure. one, just the color is so retro, so... So this is the Ruffian. This is out of, the, out of Germany. It's got a, a Bosch mid-drive motor in it. So this is a strictly pedal assist. Uh, this is kind of designed to be the coolest guy in the seawall. You can't get much of a, a nicer looking ride than this. Um, it has a constantly variable gearing system in it, so it's uh, available, able to be customized to exactly your riding conditions, whether you're crushing hills or going on big flat, uh, you have the option to really uh, customize that ride. Wow, that is just, it's so, oh man, Marilyn Monroe would love this. This is just amazing. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's a, a Marilyn Monroe, yeah. Yeah, mean looking, right? Yeah. Mean looking machine. It was and a then, similar name almost, but like I was like, oh, Monroe, sorry, I have misheard you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that happens when it's such a loud, busy event. For yeah, sure. Absolutely. And last but not least, I'd like to show you the Synergy line over here. Yeah, I'm going to start the line. Folders. Yes, please show me a lot more about that. Please. I know there's a rear suspension on this folding bike, yeah, which is so, kind of unusual. It's the, the folding bike, so it folds up both at the front here as well as in the middle, folding together, tire to tire. Okay. That's just so modular. Look at that. Wow, it snaps all together. And how much does this go for? We have this on for $2,500 right now, so $2,499 for the show. Retails for $3,000 generally. Wow, very nice. Uh, front and rear suspension. Uh, it has a 750 watt Buffang motor in it. This guy here. Exactly. The yeah, fat yeah. tires really make the versatile. You can go off-road, you can go on-road, uh, you can go on the sand as well by letting a little bit of the air out, getting a little bit of that softer ride so you're not sinking into the sand on that uh, Kitts Beach or Spanish Banks, wherever you may be. Um, this guy here has the option to be either throttle-driven, 
just just like a motorcycle, or you can pedal assist. Yes. So you have the option if you're feeling lazy, just come on the throttle. But if you want to get you know upwards of 80 to 100 kilometers on a single charge, you can go in the pedal assist and really get eco eco friendly. That was so fun. And I was sure. going to ask about the controller. Is that a King Meter controller, or which type of controller is this one? Uh, this one here. Uh, this is one we had designed for us. It does have the ability to connect as well USB, so you can get into diagnostics. Uh, so you can change the software as well. Uh, we do have it limited to 35 kilometers an hour to make it road legal in Canada. Yes. But of course, with the right technology, you can take that limiter off and make it a uh, bit more fun for private property. Nice. That's so yeah. cool. Yeah, it's just you can use it for pretty much anything, anytime. I love it. That's so sure. cool. And I am super interested to try. Um, can you remind me the name of this one again? There's so many beautiful bikes here. This guy here is called the Tracker from Vintage Electric. The Tracker. I would love to try the Tracker if that was okay with you guys. For sure, today uh, we're not testing it out here at the show, oh, yeah, uh, but yeah. you can definitely come into the shop anytime. We test out all the bikes that you see here and then some we weren't able to bring to the show, and we test drive them all in shop. You just gotta come by and then visit. For sure, thank you so much for your time, Josh. No I really appreciate it. It was nice to meet you. Have a great day. Cheers. Take care. After our stock recording, I was able to convince them to let me try the Super 73, and I can let you know now it was one of my favorite bikes that I tried today. It's so small yet so exceedingly powerful with a 500 watt motor. Now let's move on to Hill Eater e-bikes. Hi there Dave, how are you doing today? Hi, good, thanks. Good, good. Rowan from Radical Electric Bikes. Thanks again for spending some time with me to uh, show off part of your company and tell me your story of what you guys are all about. Yeah, so yeah. Um, I, I started riding electric bikes probably 10 years ago and um, I have not having ridden bikes since you know since I was a teen or whatever and, and just totally got back into bikes and uh, um, just decided to make the move into, into the industry after building some of my own, own bikes and uh, yeah um, we've been doing it seriously for about four years four years nice yeah. cool and this is your second year at the bike show uh third year at the bike show third year at the bike show very cool yeah you have a nice cozy spot here and um i was just about to pan over to this other cozy looking ride that's right here mm -hmm. yeah. could you tell me more about this model this is uh, the hill leader what's this model this called? is the galliano the galliano okay. uh, and we name all our we're based on salt spring island so we decided to name all our bikes after uh, golf islands oh really salt spring is where you're based yes. i love salt spring that's a beautiful place yes yeah, i yeah. love it there but yes please continue yeah so um, basically uh, this bike uses uh, green technologies electronics green tech battery oh yeah, yeah motor so, as well oh, yeah wow. um, so the yeah. motor is from green technologies the controller and the display mm. um, and uh, it, they're, they're a higher end uh, components. Uh, the Grin Tech is based in Vancouver. So uh, and we've, we've got a really good relationship with Grin and been very impressed with the products for conversions. So we decided to do a, a pre made bike that you, did, you didn't have to convert a bike. It's, it's uh, a bike that you can buy online without having to build your own, but it uses the latest Grin technology. Wow. Here. That's so cool how local companies like you and Grin are working together like that. That's something that we need more of is some family in the world. Uh, in all regards, we got the e-bikes here. Um, I mean, it's just, it's such a nice gathering we have here at the bike show to have companies like you show up and bringing legitimate products that really serve a greener purpose. And yeah. I was just gonna ask some questions about the range. Like, how far would you be able to go on this? Is a 48 volt, I'm assuming? This is a 52 volt. Oh, 52 volt, okay. Um, so, yeah. and it's a 15 amp hour battery. Um, so, we're, you know, it really depends on how fast you're going, of course, mm. but, uh, Somewhere around 60, 70 kilometers is a realistic range for this bike. Okay. Uh, uh, one of its claims to fame is it has regen braking. Uh, oh, yes. So it's a geared motor, which generally would not have regen braking. But this year, Grin has come out with uh, a, a motor with a lock clutch. <coughs> so it does the regen um, and it has the higher efficiency of a, of a geared motor. Nice. So, Best of both worlds kind of thing. Um, and the, the beauty of the Grand Tech uh, is that it's open source, so you're not locked into a certain brand battery. Do you want to stop for a bit? Or? Oh, okay. 
<laughs> We're announcing a winner here, folks. I mean, it could be one of these ones, but it's actually for something else, isn't it? <laughs> sure, we'll come back in just a moment. Okay, we have returned with Dave after the winner has been announced. We yeah, won't yeah. disclose their information. Yeah. But of course, yes, we were just talking about the controller and the motor and things. Could you keep right. explain so that? So yeah. it's nominally a 500 watt motor, yeah. um, but with the 52 volt battery and a 35 amp controller, uh, if you do the math on that, it comes up to about 1800 watts. So this um, this motor will peak out at about 1800 watts. Yeah, that um, is powerful. Yes, wow. now yeah. what we do is we limit it. Um, we limit it to the legal 500 watts uh, when we send the bike out. Uh, but if the, if the end user wants to modify it for off road use, that's something that they can do, and it's, it, the hardware and software to do it is readily available from Grintech. Um, and it's just, what, you know, when, when you're selling a pre made bike, we have to make sure that we meet the Canadian standards for the law. Um, mm. But there's no reason that the user can't modify it for their own use. Oh, well, there's operate. private property. Yeah, it's not limited. Like, that's just street is 32 kilometers an hour, right. I think, is the limit. Right. And you right. can have a 3,000 watt motor, but if it if it's limited to 32, it's still just fine. But then once right. you're on your private property or up on a road, you know where you're safe, a, then you're completely road, fine. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. wow. So, so much power underneath your feet there. Yeah. yeah, it's almost like a buzz and bee here. Yeah, just look at that. That thing will take off, but it makes no sound. That's the only difference. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. And you can, it looks like you could put on the passenger if you would maybe want to. Yes. Is that a possibility? Um, yeah. That rack will take the uh, child seat so you can just snap it right in. And, uh, oh, so children only is recommended because it's just not yes. for adults? Yeah, oh, okay, I mean, okay. It, it, it has a hundred pound carrying capacity. Okay. Um, but really, practically, I mean, a, a small child or a kid, but probably not a grown adult. Some people have their puppies. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. throw the puppy put, in there. Put, yeah, with the basket on there. And, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. Wow, that's a very uh, cool feature. I yeah. love how you can use this for pretty much everything. And this is the computer that's right down here, isn't it? That's right. Yeah. 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 That's the um, the Grin Phase Runner controller. Nice. The Phase Runner. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've heard a lot of good things about this Phase Runner. Yeah. And it's on all of your bikes. Do you use the same controllers on uh, most of these? Uh, no. This this is our sort of top end package. Okay. Um, so. The, you know, the pre it's a premium controller, premium electronics, um, mm. and it's 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 for the connoisseur of e-bikes. Nice. Um, basically, with with the green tech equipment, you yep. can really um, customize things. Like if if you have assist modes one through five, well, I want a sixth assist mode. You can change you can change that. You can have ten assist modes. You yeah. can limit the power. I, you know, I don't want to. I, I want to ride all day, and I don't want to use more than 200 watts. Well, you can just turn it down and use 200 watts exactly. Perfect so all control. All those kind of things. Yeah. This stuff is designed by engineers, and they they just love to geek out on this kind of stuff. So um, it really appeals to somebody who kind of maybe maybe it's their second e-bike. And mm -hmm. they yeah, want something I have to get a feel for can, it. Yeah, they yeah. can really, really get into the advanced features. Um, yeah, yeah. And they could buy their own battery and plug it into this system, and it would work. They wow. can have two different voltages of batteries, and they yeah. both work in this system. Wow. Um, and, and you can program battery A and battery B, and just switch switch them over, and uh, it's like what a what an e-bike. Yeah, you, you got you know the relaxed day. You got a quick day. You know you yeah. have a battery for yeah. any day, really. Yeah. And you can go <laughs> that's up to incredible. A, you yeah, can yeah. Go up to a seventy-two volt battery. Seventy-two. Wow, yeah, that's if you, if you really want to crazy. Fly, yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if I wouldn't doubt if you just put wings onto it, you would probably fly if you just had yeah. a good enough runway and a, yeah. a good enough drop, like a hang glider. Wow, yeah. that's just so cool. I mean, the the power behind these they still blow me away. Like um, these things. Well, look at the display. It's like a spaceship. Just look at this. It's just it's highlight in, in green and wow it just just takes your breath away and the mirrors as well um, does it come with another mirror on the other side or that's just for the no left? really it's yeah, uh, yeah. the left is all you need really pretty much just because you're on that side because yeah. some people travel I know this would be hard to get into an airplane unless green technologies you said um, they have a 
battery design so you can take it onto an airplane, actually. Right. They have a yeah, battery. That's right. So I corrected myself there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. that's really cool. You can actually, so there's a correction there, you guys. You can bring this out. Um, you can ship the bike and also the battery safely as long as, you know, the... Uh, uh, aircraft um, provider and handles it nice and safely, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's something be, we can it all expect. Be a, yeah. the, the stock battery, it would be, uh, you know, the, the Green Tech battery, which comes apart, which of course is not this battery. Mm. But the thing with this bike is, yes, you could plug that battery into this bike and it would work. It's wow. not proprietary. As long as it's got the voltage and the amperage there, you can use it. Wow. Um, so, so it does yeah, everything. Flexibility, nice. Yeah. Everything. Wow. It almost does more than what most people would ask for, you know? People, they they yeah. have a certain expectation as a first-time buyer, but it's just flooded with options. I, I love how much options we have onto this thing, and working with, again, a local company, Grin Technologies, it yeah. just really strengthens that genuine connection between the customer and the manufacturer because yeah. they know what they're talking about. You are there 24-7, obviously, just there to help people. And yeah. based on Salt Spring Island, I love it. I love that place. So, again, yeah. Dave, thank you so much for You're all welcome. of your time. It yes. was really nice talking with you, you and we'll see you next year probably at the 2021, so we'll eh? Here. Excellent. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Cool. All right. So until then, you guys, we will catch up with Dave Dunn. Hey, okay. see you Thanks. later. Our next interview is going to be with East Van Chopsicle. Hi, how's it going? Thanks good, how are you? Good. Yeah, good. I just wanted to ask you a few questions about your company and just your story. Of course, no problem. Yeah. Could you uh, tell me how you got started? Yeah, I started about a year and a half ago on, on some of my old stuff. And um, I live on the seawall here located in Vancouver. And I wanted to have something cool to ride because I'm a custom car builder and, and love the car stuff and automotive. So I came up with a, an idea for a bike and uh, put it to work. And so after trying the first one with my girlfriend's bike, um, it turned out to be extremely good and uh, kept going and built a couple more bikes for some, for some other friends. And from there it just grew and grew and grew. Uh, my first, uh, after that, um, I uh, made two bikes for Snoop Dogg and his friend. So um, they have their bikes in, in Los Angeles. And uh, Snoop Dogg's bike, I did something very cool. I gold plated the electric motor, which is the first, first person in the world to do that too. And uh, with the help of Grin Technologies, uh, we got it all done, and uh, it was an awesome bike. So yeah, um, the bikes, um, they're very powerful and very smooth and have very strong brakes. So you can go out and ride with confidence and extreme safety. So you never have to worry about any trouble or, or running into stuff on the road. That's great. Yeah, the fast tires are a huge element. Yeah. I'm grinning the whole time with Grin Technologies. It's on your bike, it's on my face, it's on the like, Yeah, for so sure. Cool. Yeah, I mean, it only takes about five seconds to have the smile on your face when you hit the throttle. Yeah. And um, the whole time you ride these bikes, it's just like thousand percent enjoyment. And not having to have a license and not worrying about insurance and all this stuff is like so the future, right? And being able to actually now they have make big enough batteries that you can actually go quite far. We're getting anywhere from 50 to about 175 kilometers range. 175 kilometers. Yeah. De de all depending on the programming and which battery you have and, and the weight of the bike and, and rider. But everything is so um, futuristic now and with all the technology, you can just dig in and get everything to work for you. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah. I'd love to actually ask more questions about the computer technology you said. You <laughs> yeah. program it to pretty much any, um, um, pro, uh, sorry, how do you say? You program it for the maximum range of 175. Yeah. Just how to do that? Is there a control that's on the bike? Yeah, so, or so, so an app? Yeah. right here is where I put the computers on all my bikes. Um, so this computer has many, many different things you can program. So you can program braking strength, uh, throttle strength, how many amps and volts and all that stuff. And by doing that, it really dials in the bike and gives you what you want it to do. So if you want it to get more kilometers, you can decrease the power. If you want it to get less kilometers and have more power, you just you can do that too. Um, for all the bikes, um, have regenerative braking. So it regenerates power back to the battery, but it also um, slows the bike down. 
So you can actually change the amount of pressure that the electric brake is uh, creating. So depending on how you like the feeling, I can make that feeling on that electric brake. And also depending on your body weight. So if you're a heavier rider, you want a little bit more. If you are a lighter rider, you can have a little bit less. It doesn't make it better or worse, it just dials in it for yourself. And that's why it makes it 100% um, customized for you, right? Excellent. And I love that they are truly custom too, that yes. you built them, you've designed them, you're working with another local company, Grid Technologies, I love that. Yeah. You're doing your projects for Snoop Dogg and everyone else, I mean, I just yeah. I love that. It's just so cool when, you know, great minds meet together, right? It's yeah, just, no kidding. Isn't that great? Yeah, 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 it's just amazing. You also yeah. come up with new stuff too, right? Yes. Because if, if I didn't see this or see that, I wouldn't come up with any idea, right? Yeah. So everything pushes to another level, and that's what I bought, I built this bike, the, the copper one. Oh yes. I, now, what's she called? The copper tank, or is this is actually? No, uh, I, I I call this the the dual. The dual. So it's got. Don't dual, dual with this girl. Here. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's got dual motors, dual computers, and one big battery that controls it all. How big is the battery? The battery is a, a 20 amp hour, 52 volt, which is a, a new battery that Grid Technology just started to sell. Uh, gives you very good power and obviously a large capacity and enough to power two motors. So what I've done is I. Um, the weight of the bike is about 72 pounds. 72 pounds? Yeah. That's very light for how big it is. And then I, there's one computer mounted under here. And then of course the other computer is here like on all the other bikes. Yeah, just like the second bike. I can't even see the second one. So it's such an efficient looking design. Everything about it is so slick and I mean, of course the color. It's, it's like it's just like copper rose gold. This, yeah, this one, this one's copper plated with uh, clear coat added on top so that you don't have to uh, polish it all the time. That's incredible. Wow, we're just gonna get a good look at the light here. Yeah, look at that. Yep. Not only you'll be seen being reflected by the side, but you'll be seen from a mile away with that uh, it's a powerful light. Wow, very incredible. And what's the maximum speed that you can achieve on this? Uh, you can go top speed uh, 70 to 80 kilometers per hour. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah. Does that actually make it easier on the bike? Like it increases the efficiency having two motors or anything like that? Um, it will slightly. Yeah, it just all depends on how you ride. Okay. But, um, this is a special system that I designed to uh, operate like an all-wheel drive system, like a car. Right. So the rear uh, pushes only slightly, and the majority of the power is made from the front. So the rear motor is just helping the front motor get going. And nice. that, that way it, it produces a very even amount of power. So when you come into a corner, it doesn't push or understeer, it just carves through exactly where you point it. That's so nice, like ultimate yeah. controllability. That's yeah. very slick. And I can yeah. see why Snoop Dogg likes it. It's, it's slick. Oh, yeah. yeah, for sure. <laughs> Harley Davidson edition from East Van Tropical. Harley Davidson. 3,000 watts. That's gorgeous. All right, let's see how this compares to a real Harley. How's that? With the big smile on my face, I knew it was pretty obvious. This is one of the coolest bikes in the entire show. I could see why Snoop Dogg would like one of these. Coming up next in the video is an interview with Reckless Electric Bikes. Hi there, Paul. Thanks for spending some time with me. Hey, thanks for dropping in. What do you want to know? I would like to just ask a few questions about this guy here, the GFD. It's a really family-oriented um, looking bike, obviously. So the GFD is developed by Turn Bicycle, which is a folding bike manufacturer. Nice. And they've done two things with this. It will fold, but it doesn't fold in half. Oh, but it okay. folds down to go in your minivan or in your SUV. Okay, all right. A little hold like that. 
this is what we would call cargo light. Cargo so light. It, yeah. And we find cargo light is ideal for the urban environment because you're not necessarily hauling 45 kilos of gear, but you want to move your kid to daycare, and then you want to go to work yourself, and you want to pick up some groceries on the way home, and then pick up your child, and you're trying to do all of this without an automobile, because why not? It's nice, we have great bike routes, you're getting some exercise, you're not stuck in traffic, you're not paying $1.49 a litre for fuel. Oh, yeah. So it's becoming a super popular alternative for us. And um, we just sell a lot of this style of bike. The other thing that's super cool with this bike is sometimes it's a problem to store a bike. That bike stores on its end like that. Nice. So you can put that bike in your garage. Oh wow, you can look put at that. that bike in your condominium. Wow. All of a sudden huh. the storage issue has become less of an issue, right? So it's 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 a game changer for e-bikes and folding bikes. This caught me by surprise when you said it actually folds. It looks so rigid, so solid that it's actually so is bar folds surprised. Now, right? I can see the switch now. Yeah, there it is. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So you can take that bike and you can put it in the back of your SUV. I'm going to grab another one. For sure, yeah. We're just going to get some closer shots of this magnificent specimen here. We've got a nice, yeah, we've got a Bosch motor in there. Yeah, we're not messing around. So you can see. This is, this is just incredible. Like the whole family can literally hop onto this. Now, I know there's a lot of people who have siblings. This is great. Like you can hang out with your brother, your sister the whole day, and just, you know, go for a picnic, whatever you want. It's just, this is excellent. So we're about to move on to our other model here. Could you tell me what the name of, was this one again? Sure, so this is the HFD. The HFD. HFD, yeah. yeah. And you yeah. make up the name what HFD stands for. It's got no meaning except what you make it up. So is it, haul heavy stuff is it haul whatever so two kids one kid hmm. so if you're a family and you know you're only having one child this is even more compact yes it still allows you to haul everything you want to haul it'll take the same front rack this one's got suspension in the front makes nice. it super comfortable you can see the battery here very tiny battery is that 48 volt that's a 48 volt and again yeah. same thing Rolls right back up onto the top there, yeah. Wow. <laughs> you want to store it, it stores up right here. That's excellent. Yeah, you can just see the little nub right on the ground there. See how it's going to be nice and stabilized all around. Just right in the corner. This garage or even people with apartments who have a, you know, a small family, small apartment situation. Yeah, this is exactly what that's made for. That's excellent. Wow. Very cool. And they're both mid-drives too. I love mid-drive motors. Just you need that power for when you're carrying a little bit of extra uh, little ones. You know, that just comes around. Oh, look at this. Holding it right up. So now you can put that in your... Because a lot of people... They don't want they don't necessarily want to go car free, but they'd like to go car light. Yeah. Do we need two cars in our family? That's right. Can we get away without having a second one? But we still need to go on vacation. We still need to take the kids to go see grandma and Langley. Or you can't do everything on a bike. But with this bike, you can put it in the back of that van or SUV. It fits in and it just gives you more alternatives, right? So love it. Super popular for us. It is. You can put anything you want onto that thing, and then if, you're, if that wasn't enough for you, well, there you go. <laughs> just look at that. Wow, that's almost just a bit more than expected. And folding still, I'm processing how this one folds, but um, it's just incredible. It's Same just, idea. Full yeah, yeah. bar folds down. Just, seat comes out. It's, it's hard to believe, basically. It's yeah. so cool, yeah. And they're mechanical disc brakes, or are these hydraulic? This is hydraulic. Oh, they're all so hydraulic. So turn makes top-of-the-line stuff. Nice. Right? These are not inexpensive bikes. They, mm. they start at five grand. They go up from there. Five grand but or no. Yeah. When you've done your research and when you've looked at an e-cargo bike, it's going to cost you 4000 anyhow. So if you can get something at 4000 but you can get something that really works at 5000 it, it's a decision you make, right? Oh, yeah, it and speaks so for itself. Yes. It does, and people who use this want to use it, right? So they're mm -hmm. looking for good quality stuff that, that fulfills that purpose, right? Mm -hmm. So Everyday riding, and especially everyday families, riding, this, yeah. can't, this can't yeah. let you down. If you're going to work every yeah. day, you got so much to do. I mean, life's busy. Life's yeah. busy, and it, it'll get you up the hills. It'll get you over the bridge, and that's what 
you know, electric is just super cool for that because it just makes your riding more fun. That's all it does. It's so. opened up a whole different wave of opportunities for people who struggled, you know, before with all kinds of different reasons, yep. but whether they're yep. legitimate or not. Yep. Yeah, yeah but now we're it's happy just about fun. It. It's just super we're seeing, fun. Yeah. Years and years ago, you had to be an athlete or yep. you had to be a cyclist. Okay, mm. well, now you just have to like to ride your bike around. All your right? friends can just And hang do out whatever together. you want to yep. do on it. Go back and forth to work, take your kids to school. Go on a picnic, it, you know, yeah. it, it's whatever works for you, right? Oh, I know so. a few friends that would like to just they'd probably jump off uh, onto the off onto the front of this thing. <laughs> it's almost just like yep. a perfect little seat yep. there. Yep. Not recommended by Radical Electric Bikes or Paul here, but um, yeah, that is just an incredible bike. I love it. Thank you so much perfect, for all your time, perfect. Paul. It's really nice to spend some time with you today. Hey. Towards the end of the show, I noticed there is a couple of vendors that I haven't even glimpsed at yet. For example, Connect. They make seat suspension and handles bar suspension. For these conversion types, I had to get more details. So we're here with Connect, and we're about to learn about some of the suspension parts. Could you tell me a little bit more? Uh, yeah, we're a company out of Bellingham, Washington. We've been making suspension seat posts for about seven years. Um, and we have a patented design that's a parallelogram and a dual spring system that allows the product to take out all that high frequency vibration. Excellent. And give you a much better ride, let you relax and sit more comfortably on your bike and uh, enjoy your ride more. That's really cool. And this year we're just launching our new suspension stem. Suspension stem, and that's going to be this guy right here you're pointing out yep. the handles? The yeah, that's excellent. Stem. And that just goes down like that, so it yep. actually moves with your hands. Isn't that cool, guys? Yeah, yeah that's so cool. I haven't seen anything else like this. Um, There's a couple yeah. like it. It's not a new oh, yeah. idea, but okay. certainly uh, we've taken our spin on it, and that is have it really simply adjustable so you get three different springs with it. Um, easy to change while you're on the bike, which is nice. Just a simple takeout. That set screw, this pin will slide out. This will open, drop in the new spring, close it, and off you go. Oh, so interchangeable. I love that. That's how things need to be. I love it when people are doing that more. Thank you very much. I love it when products are more available. And you said this was not released yet for sale. It was going not to be coming up. Not yet for sale, in... so it's on yep. pre-sale right now on pre -sale. Kickstarter. So okay. we encourage everybody to come in and take a look at that on Kickstarter. Absolutely. It helps it bring it to life. Mm. And then our suspension seat posts are the same idea. Okay. And again, are easily adjustable through a, a little knob on the back, so you can change the ride quality if you want. Very cool. Um, we make these in four different sizes for di different diameter tubing, and then we also tune the uh, springs to your body weight. So there's four different spring sets depending on whether you weigh 100 pounds or 350 pounds. Oh wow! So we're the only seat company, seat post company, that makes a product good up until 330 pounds. Oh, that's excellent. Wow, and it's so Don't small. Don't pick me on kilometers, or on <laughs> kilometers, <laughs> on kilograms. Oh, no, no, that's so, okay. No, because it looks like it could go quite a few. It's such a small, like, tight package, and yeah. I've been noticing that with so many other products, and yours is an excellent example of one of them. Yeah, no, it's we've... just so tightly put together, and it doesn't get in the way of, like, pedaling. All those, some things in the past, they're a little bit hard. They got in the way, like, just for trying to hold you up. I think, like, a large spring seat. Some people didn't like it so wide, right. so now you actually have the suspension of a large wide seat that feels that way without actually getting in the way like trying to pedal you can fast whatever and seat you want on your, that's on your so bike. cool yeah i love that you don't have to buy any like different seat and go with what you have already that's so cool wow and easy to maintain yeah. last for years um any all the bushings are replaceable so mm. a very very simple product simplicity is best uh, yeah. our company's called get busy we're based in north vancouver we have this flashing led vest uh, it has a chest lamp right here on the front, which is 160 lumens, and it can be adjusted so it tilts up and down, uh, super bright. And then the vest itself uh, has three different modes, so it can uh, have flat, a fast flashing mode, it has a slow rotating mode, and then if you want to, you can actually walk onto one of the colors of your preference. They're, they're also rechargeable here, so there's a USB port right in the back, uh, charge time is about two hours. You'll get about 10 hours of life out of the vest. That's excellent. Super lightweight as well, which is nice. There's a uh, adjuster just on the side here. So we have a, a one size fits all model, which, which is nice. Um, and the product comes with a one year warranty as well. That's very good. And what yeah. is it made of? Is it just made of regular like polyurethane? Exactly, yeah. So yeah. it's a fiber optic cord and then okay. uh, inside 
side we've just got the lithium ion battery uh, that okay, powers yeah. it, gives it the 10 hours of life and essentially it's just shooting the light from inside right through the cable uh, from both sides. Wow, I love how modular that is. It yeah. really just goes around the whole body and one size fits all just makes yeah. it so much more accessible for everybody. Yeah, and yeah. USB chargeable, I see those AA is not really around anymore yeah, exactly. these days, so you nice. know. Yeah, uh, exactly. Yeah, when did you start? Uh, when did, uh, we you just start? hit our one year mark. Okay. Uh, on, I think February 16th, so we're just a little bit over one year in business now, which is nice. Oh, well, congratulations. Yeah, it seems like it's going very well. I could see yeah. from literally a mile away and I'll see you going 100 miles further. This yeah, is really yeah. cool. Sweet. Yeah, Thank yeah. You. My name is Ron again. Yeah. Thank you very much. Nice All to right. meet you. Cool. So that's a wrap, you guys. Thanks for joining me in exploring the BC Bike Show of 2020. It was an absolute blast, and I'm really looking forward to going to the event next year as well. I wasn't able to fit all the footage that I had filmed today like the bike stunts and tricks filmed earlier, so I'll be posting a second video soon. Until that time, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to Radical Electric Bikes for more awesome videos. Thanks and see you later.